hey what's up guys in this video i will show you a very simple step on how to make a roof plan i actually received a question from a friend of mine asking me for a help on how to draw a roof plan so if you are in the same category of feeling the same thing i will want you to watch this video to the end hey what's up guys welcome this is mark Lumi and in this channel i drop architectural civil and finance content that is the result of everything we want to learn how to make money with the skills we have so this video is so short and let's try to make the roof plan now the first thing we need to do is to have a floor plan or the first floor plan or the ground floor plan anyhow if it is a bungalow or a duplex so let's just try to create a simple plan okay let's create this construction line xl for the shortcut then let's create another construction line XL for the shortcut too. So let's offset this by 12 meters. Let's offset by 12 meters and let's offset this by 6 meters. Mm, let's where is it? Let's clean this. Let's clean this. Let's offset. Let's offset this by 12 meters. And let's offset this by 6 meters. So let's trim everything. And um, let's make a 2 to 5 inward for the brick and then um, let's trim everything so you have to trim this and trim the side too so now let's say this is the architectural plan the ground floor plan that we want to make a roof for so the first thing we need to do is to create a duplicate of this either using the polyline or anyhow we wanna do it but let's, let's go with the polyline PL for the shortcut then let's create the polyline around the whole plan depending on how the plan is then let's move it in for the shortcut to move and let's move to the side now to create our eaves that will make it 600 or 450 depending on the de design so let's offset this all and 600 then we've offset outside then let's offset by 205 inward too now let's see we we'll make this now this is where the construction start from press x and for the construction line then space bar then right click on your mouse and you select on the angle then you input the angle you want to use either 45 or 60 or any hour but i'm going with 45 and press enter so at every edge we try to put this construction line around the 45 now we can put it here we can put it here but we can't put it here because this line is moving outward and we cannot also put it here because the same line is moving outward we need lines that will go into the plan into the, the plan so we can mirror this select that line press m i e then space bar and then let's come to the side now that is the middle if you don't have um, this interception this midpoint showing it is very simple this is where you have to set it i think it's under modify I, is under format let's check the two then under the drafting settings then you select all click on select all you so that you can really achieve your midpoint then click ok so you come and select this line m i for mirror then come here you see it is showing triangle which indicates that that is the middle of this line if you want to use this line that is it so select that point and move your mouse upward so press it again then press peace bar 
then we can do the same thing for this one select it press m i on your keyboard then press spacebar then come to this side where it shows the triangle press it draw your mouse to the left or to, to the right hand side then press it again then press spacebar so this is it then select this one the eaves then press tr to trim because you need to delete all these outside the plan and then the next thing we need to do is to trim this because we only need the ridge here the ridge so we have to trim tr then and we have to trim this to tr to trim now the next thing we need to do is to put under construction line straight line then do it like this and then we try to erase this too we are done but not really done so we can now select this and offset by 150 to indicate our reach cap so we can offset inward and outward we can offset inward and outward we can offset inward and outward then inward and outward so the next thing we need to do is to trim this excess part tr to trim again then let's delete no, let's delete this delete that and then let's trim the parts we don't really need like this so it is a very simple thing like then we select the outside and then we need to trim all those edges because we don't really need it and we don't really want you know we don't really want our plan to look rough and not really neat now we do the next one so the next thing we need to do is to change the line width of the mid one so yeah we change our line width let's use that one and we can match property me then spacebar and then we can really select this so the next thing we need to do is to create arch h letter h and spacebar then we come here and press l or look for the line press ok and we change this angle to 180 and then um, the bigger the scale we have um, a accurate line so let's go with 40 and let's click to pick then we select this point and then we select this other point then press space bar then press ok so we have to create another arch then we press this for the 90 degree and we select the point again press this and we press this then press space bar and press ok so we are done the only thing you just need to do is to give some details and dimension it so this is just a simple video on how to create a, a roof plan so guys if you're just watching this video or just joining this channel i want you to do me a favor by clicking the subscribe button and um, give this video a thumbs up button i'm really creating another video a tutorial on a very very um complicated roof plan so i want you to click on the notification bell when subscribing to my channel so that whenever i post the video you get notified for the video thanks for watching